Hi, and welcome to the Health Information System Symposium in Orlando. I'm Des Blanchfield. I have the pleasure of being joined by Harsh D. Harwood, who is the CTO and VP of Nihon Koden. Hi, Harsh. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Hi, have I got your name pronounced there right? I, you got it. You got it right. Thank you. So, uh, really great to catch up with you here in Orlando. Uh, there's a lot of amazing things happening here at the AT&T booth, but one of the things that I really got excited about was what you're doing with AT&T business around the healthcare space and the whole connected devices and connectivity uh, challenge around transitioning from uh, old legacy infrastructure, pen and papers and nurses running around with things in their hands to having smart devices and smart infrastructure around them. Uh, maybe could you just give us a little insight into kind of what your organization does first, who you are, what the company is, and then maybe we can talk about what you're doing with your devices. Yeah, so uh, we're Nihon Code in America. Uh, we're uh, a, uh, a Japanese-based healthcare manufacturer. Uh, we make various kinds of physiological monitoring systems. We're the fastest growing uh, uh, patient monitoring company in the United States. And uh, we make various kinds of devices that measure uh, uh, vital signs, uh, neurology, as well as cardiology. Okay. Now, you've recently uh, formed a, a strong relationship with AT&T Business in their healthcare space. You've been doing a lot of exciting work around their foundry and some of the technologies available there. Could you maybe just give us a, a little insight into kind of, I guess, you know, uh, how that relationship came about and what you're doing in the foundry with AT&T Business in their healthcare space? Yeah, absolutely. So I was familiar with AT&T Foundry based on my previous role. Uh, so when I started with Nihon Code and I reached out to Foundry when, I, when we found out an application where I thought this would be a perfect fit with AT&T right. Foundry. So here's the device that I'm holding. Fantastic. Uh, this is, we call this a G3 telemetry system device. Uh, this is used by hospitals uh, to, uh, for patients to measure their vital signs. Uh, these patients typically are not in ICU, right. they're in med surge units, uh, so they're mobile and they're, they wear them on them and they're walking around and they're able to measure their vital signs. Uh, this device is Wi-Fi capable, okay. so this connects to the hospital's Wi-Fi uh, infrastructure and then uh, is able to remotely, uh, the patients are, uh, are being able to remotely be monitored by the hospital. Right. Uh, what, where this AT&T uh, comes in is we have noticed that uh, there are situations where hospitals are encouraging patients to walk outside. Mm -hmm. uh, they have what they call health gardens. Uh, so they, would, they would like the patients to take a walk, as well as when they transfer patients between buildings uh, and there's no Wi-Fi coverage. Right. So currently, uh, when there is no Wi-Fi coverage, those patients are not being remotely monitored, uh, which presents a risk. So they have to send somebody with the patients right. uh, uh, while they're outside. And we thought, uh, we're working with the uh, AT&T Foundry, that maybe we can build a travel pack that can switch between Wi-Fi to cellular, yep. there, uh, so that when when the patients are outside, uh, we're, they're still a, being able to remotely be monitored. I love this. I mean, the, the thing about the form factor that strikes me is it's essentially like a, a, a slightly heavier version of a smartphone <laughs> that you can essentially walk around the hospital with in other uh, care environments. Um, there's an enormous amount of data uh, available now around the benefits of just being mobile and being, I guess, self-sufficient in many ways, going to the bathroom, having a shower, getting outside, getting some vitamin D in you, and just getting out of that physical hospital environment, the smells and the sounds, and just letting yourself heal, right? Um, what are some of the things that have really leapt out of you as, as you've been developing this, uh, where this whole mobile and cellular capability that you've, uh, you've built yourselves and partnered with AT&T to develop, what are some of the big wins, some of the big transitions you've seen around, uh, I guess, you know, the obvious one to me is like that movie where you see people walking around with the little thing on the wheel and the, the drip, right? But there must be some key things that have jumped out where uh, organizations you're working with have seen that this is just a eureka aha moment. This is something I've been dreaming of for a long time. Yeah, so it, it, having, having the ability to remotely monitor patients is a key for hospitals. Right. It allows them to uh, staff their nurses appropriately. They can take these devices and, and know that while they have this many patients, they, every one of them is being remotely monitored. Right. So if there is any critical event, that they can address it right away. Uh, and having a connected device uh, that via cellular, via Wi-Fi, um, as well as uh, in the travel pack, we also have a GPS that, that allows us to locate where the patient is. Right. Well, that's a big plus, isn't uh, it? That's a big Particularly plus. Particularly if you have someone with like dementia or they're just a little disorientated. Yeah, absolutely. And that allows the hospital to have technicians or uh, full-time staff who are reviewing the patients, and then if something were to happen, they can know where they are. Right. They can see the data, so they can act upon it, and then they can go get them as necessary. I love this. I mean, this really, really delivers on the whole concept of hospital of the future, which you sell as an AT&T and others have been talking about, where that you know shifting from pen and paper clipboard model to focusing on where the people are and what they're doing i mean i the idea of clinicians and nurses being able to go directly to where you are knowing on where you are on the floor or in the gardens as opposed to trying to keep you in a hospital bed and, and, and nail you down i think it's just a it's chalk and cheese right um so 
we've talked a lot about the benefits of having connected devices for the consumer. So, you know, I, I, I'm able to be more mobile. I'm obviously able to then get out in the garden and get a bit of sunlight or even maybe just go and, you know, play some cards in the, in the game room or just watch some TV without being in the room. Uh, what are some of the big wins for the actual industry players? I mean, we're here at the healthcare uh, industry uh, system symposium, symposium HIMSS 2019. It's focused on the actual healthcare industry and the providers of services. Uh, there must be an enormous amount of interest. Where are the, some of the the, the industry-focused benefits from, from, I mean, I guess, you know, getting this out into the market, there's, there's the ability to build new solutions and think outside of the box is an obvious one. But what are some of the ones that you're seeing now where the industry players are saying, I can do this with the, this sort of thing with this, beyond the things we've talked about yep. of just monitoring them? Yeah, so in healthcare is going through, you know, as with every industry, healthcare is going through its own change. So the patients who used to be in ICU 10 years ago are no longer in ICU. They're, being, right. they're outside the ICU. And this trend is going to continue. The patients are going to continue to go from now being in med surgery units to maybe being monitored in remote clinics, maybe one day to home, right? Uh, at their home. So technology, having the capability to be able to monitor these patients and view what they're, how they're uh, you know, responding to yep. treatment in a hospital is, tr is of immense value. And yep. I think we see ourselves as trying to be ahead of the curve and uh, so that not only in, when you're walking outside of health gardens or uh, t uh, transferring between buildings, but as they go to remote clinics, as they right. one day go to home, that we have the technology and infrastructure available to be able to provide what is needed from a provider standpoint to the providers uh, from the patients. I think that's a big key. Plus, it also enables, as soon as the, the, the patient's connected and you're able to monitor them, all that data is continuously being uh, fed into the EMR system. Right. The, uh, so the patient's record from a charting perspective, it ha has all the data that allows the physicians to make the necessary uh, treatment. Plan. Gotcha. And I guess that's really the big message here this week, isn't it really? I mean, when we think about what AT&T is having their booth and, and what your uh, story has to tell with regard to your devices, it's that whole life journey of health, isn't it? It's, you know, you talked about in-home care, uh, we've talked about what's happening, I guess, you know, with FirstNet, what you can do in an ambulance. I imagine they can start to put these on people all the way through. They can hand that through with a person walking into the hospital, into surgery, into care, into recovery, post-triage. Uh, and then I imagine if it goes back home with them, but then it's probably even potentially something to go to aged care and other special needs spaces where it's not purely just in the hospital around emergency, but also just ongoing monitoring. Because that, that big data analytics and, and insights and data-driven decisions, we've seen that in, I guess, banking and, and finance and general enterprise space, but health now is sort of leveraging these capabilities, I imagine. Absolutely. I think the this is probably the time where, you, and I'm sure you'll see this not only from Mihan Koden, but from others as well, that everybody's looking at what data that medical devices are producing and, and how you can leverage that data for, to provide more value to the clinicians right. and physicians. And I think that trend is going to continue. Uh, it's, 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 it's early stages in healthcare. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, providers like AT&T and, and others who have been in this space for a long time have a lot to offer uh, with working with the medical device industry to make that happen. Fantastic. Well, I guess that's the, the penultimate wrap-up is that by working with a partner like AT&T, you don't have to build any of that infrastructure. And you talked about having, you know, in hospitals where they used to have to build multiple networks, every provider or every system is integrated, had to put their own network, their own routers and switches and service. Now the hospital is a one common network, nicely secured, probably outsourced to someone like AT&T Business, and they just add their value key points and, and, and let the hospital run the hospital. You provide amazing devices and solutions with data analytics and so forth, and AT&T do what they do as well. Yeah, absolutely. So our expertise is uh, patient monitoring. In this yeah. case, we know how to display this information, what information to pro uh, provide to the hospital. Yep. Building a network or a cellular network is not necessarily our expertise, no. and that's why we're relying on the partners like AT&T to Absolutely. help us do that. Well, it's an exciting future. Thank you so much, Harsh, for catching up. It's been great to meet you in person, and uh, I'm so glad we bumped into you. Appreciate you making time to catch up on the camera, and hopefully we'll have you on the, uh, on the show again soon, and maybe even join the podcast. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having me, and uh, good to see you. Absolute pleasure. Thanks, Harsh. And with that, folks, we'll wrap up. Thanks for joining us. Um, some amazing insights into what they're doing with their devices, and that whole, uh, I guess, end-to-end -end journey of uh, having a smartphone style device attached to you as you go through the various forms of healthcare services you're receiving, and uh, and all of that live data streaming to a platform that can allow to, uh, I guess, greatly reduce risk to you and provide uh, a better care of service to you as a, a consumer. We'll see you in the next video. I'm Des Blashfield. We're here in Orlando at the uh, Health Information Systems Symposium, HIMSS 2019. Thanks for joining us.